offensive foul, his second in the first quarter, and he would have to sit down. Bradley Beal had foul trouble as well. Raptors had no trouble connecting from three-point range. I mean, they just moved the basketball so well, spaced the floor terrifically, and they have been lights out from beyond in both games. All kinds of time to spot up, and as you can see, it all added up to 11 threes in the first half, a franchise postseason record. That last one, maybe there was an illegal screen on the play, but we've seen three consecutive threes that they had time to roll into. DeMar DeRozan, likewise, rolling. Knocking down a three. DeRozan knocking down another three. And then, more like himself, DeRozan all the way to the rim. He had 20 in the first half. Toronto led by 18 at the break. Third quarter, Wizards finally got some momentum. John Wall had a big part in that. Well, they, they finally got some John Wall. I mean, he, he was electric at times in that third quarter, just trying to will his team back into the game. 14 of his 29 points in the third. He had nine assists on the night as well. You just wonder what this looks like with John playing that well, if they could just string together two consecutive stops. <laughs> you know, put, put together a consecutive run of stops and, and see where you end up because they just have not been locked in on that side of the ball. And they were chipping away. Lucas Nogueira blocked by Wall. What a rejection by Wall. And it leads to Ty Lawson making his Wizards debut here in the postseason with a three on the other end. Incredible play, and you just wondered at that time would it be a similar moment, but then shortly after this started to occur. Yeah, that got him within seven, but then the block by DeLon right on the other end. It's DeRozan with the fadeaway, and then DeRozan answers all over the place for the Raptors. DeMar with 37 on the night. Late. Wizards turn it over. Look at the hustle and effort, just not giving up on the play there by the Raptors. And, and another DeLon Wright highlight. Yeah. Start the break on the other side by getting the deflection and finishes the play. Raptor fans have gotten used to their bench being this powerful, this meaningful for them. But it's showing itself right now in this series glaringly. He had 11 off the bench, and the Raptors get the win 130 to 119. The Wizards fall to 2-7 and seven since Wall returned to the lineup after the knee surgery. And they've lost eight straight on the road. The Raptors are up 2-0 for the very first time ever. They've shot 50% in both games so far and improved to 36-7 and at home. DeRozan tied his postseason career high with 37 points. And to hear him tell it, I wasn't even trying to score. Um, I just let the game come to me, the Florida game. Um, I go based off that. You know, these days, it's not like i got to have a mindset to go out there and you know, I got to score 30, 40 points. Um, I go out there and play you aggressive. Just had 37. What you mean? I didn't go out there saying, let me score but, 30 tonight. But like, I'm saying, you had 37. Don't say it like But you. I'm saying, I didn't go out there but saying. But all I'm saying, I, you can't say that when you had 37. Listen, what I'm trying to explain, though, what bro. I'm saying, I understand what you said. But you no, you don't. Let me finish. I didn't even. Can I? Leave. Um, like I said, I didn't go out there planning to score 37 points. I went out there to be aggressive and with my aggressiveness came out 37 points, you know? He was right during that game, but you get those guys credit. DeMar came out, had a heck of a game, uh, making three point, I mean, four point plays from the three point line is very tough for those guys. And we let them get off early shooting threes. Yeah, I mean, we've been in the same situation. I mean, it's probably a year, year from today almost, you know, we've been playing Boston in the second round and, and being down 2-0 early and winning the next two and then making it a seven game series. So, um, you know, we got to take it a game at a time um, and focus on game three and get that at home. Toronto just kept setting franchise postseason records throughout the game. Most points in the first quarter, 44 check at the half, 76 check. Uh, 11 made threes in the first half, check at 130 points to wrap up the night and take a 2-0 series lead. They led this game by as many as 23 along the way 44 in the first quarter i mean if you're if you're the wizards you don't have to look much beyond that to, to find where this went sour yeah I, I just surprising that that the wizards didn't come out with more energy and effort uh they really didn't have any answers and toronto 
to me, played like the desperate team. Like that, they set the tone as to how the game was going to be played. It really is kind of a tale of two teams, right? Old school versus new school. Old school, the ball movement, the spacing, the shifting of the defense's eyes and feet until you find that crack where you can create offense with your offense in rhythm. And they did a great job of it all night. And you made a great point earlier as well, but when we, we, you're watching this Toronto team, because the ball is moving so freely and everyone is touching it, they're actually more engaged on the defensive end as well. I think we've seen Washington, because they're playing and not using the strong, weak flow and moving the ball quite as much as, as Toronto does, you're seeing their guys are not as engaged on the defensive end. Yeah, and then you convert and contrast that with what you get a lot from the Wizards. The Wizards statistically look fine across the board. Yeah. It's just but the degree of difficulty with their shots. They're taking tougher shots. They're not hitting singles. They're, they're having to go for more home runs. And it's just hard to play consistent basketball at a high level when what you're trying to, to win with is tough and what the other team's winning with is easy. I mean, the rhythm is with Toronto right now. It's going to have to change for the Wizards when they get home. If they have no other mission for Game 3, take away looks from C.J. Miles. He's 8 of 13 from three-point range in this series so far. Uh, game 3 happens on Friday back in Washington. All right, more coming up here on Game Time. In a series full of green, Brown is really standing out. How Jalen helped the Celtics to a 2-0 start.